Chris. A man who took a pounding from police that was caught on tape is talking about what happened. Some of the officers have been identified, and the state and the Henderson City Council have approved a settlement for the victim. Reporter Jessica Lovell joins us now with the story. Jessica. Paula, the victim in this case is hoping that what happened to him will help bring awareness to the way officers are trained to deal with people with medical conditions. It's really strange. It's a little surreal. Um, disorienting to watch yourself go through that and have no memory of it. Imagine watching a video of yourself being thrown to the ground and kicked and punched by police. Yeah, I ended up with, with two broken ribs and uh, a black eye, some, some vision problems and uh, some bruises. Early morning on October 29, 2010, Adam Green was driving to work. My next conscious memory uh, after that was was being pushed up against the front of the police car with handcuffs on. Henderson police thought Green was driving drunk. Turns out he was having a diabetic attack. In the tape, you can see three of the officers, identified as Henderson Sergeant Brent Seacats and NHP Trooper John Sidney and Sergeant Anthony Bandiero taking Green down. I think it's apparent from watching the tape that I wasn't resisting in any way. Found some insulin in his pocket. Soon officers realized Green had blacked out from his medical episode and did call for help. It's been a year since this happened, and for Green, it's actually what he can't remember that's helped him move forward. I think it helps that I don't remember it. I think that's a big help. And I'm, I'm far removed from something that was so personal. And I think that helps me to forgive them. Combined, the state and Henderson settled with Green's family for a total of $292,500. And when asked about his feelings towards our local police force. We, we hold no ill will towards the uh, officers involved or the other police officers that are in the city. And we support them and, and we're ready to move on. Adam suffered blurred vision, two broken ribs and bruises on his head and his face. Since the incident, Henderson police said that they have seen a 30 percent de decrease in the amount of use of force cases, and they are also reviewing the way that they train their officers to handle these types of situations. You can also read Henderson's complete statement on the lawsuit settlement on our website. Just go to 8 News Now.